Makeup Forever Special Effects Palette. I went there, okay, and I wanted to get the Makeup Forever 12 Flash Colors. And I was so set on buying it, I was like, I, I'm going there to go get it. I went there, I saw the price, and my heart just stopped for a while. It was $187 and... Nope. No. Just no. No. So I got this small palette instead, which is honestly kind of enough. Okay, so you know how I love special effects makeup? That is what got me started in all of this. And so I got this palette. You know how when you get bruises, you kind of have this like purple, bluish, yellowish looking lump on your body? Um, so that is why this palette consists of these five colors. So this is the Special Effects Palette N1. So you've got the yellow, which is 013, the bright blue, which is 014, Carmen, which is 001. It's kind of like a brownish red, very dark brownish red. Um, the brown one which is 023 and the black one which is 011. And I'm gonna swatch these for you guys. So let's start off with the yellow one shall we? And it's very creamy. Let's see if I swatch it here. That's how it looks like. I wonder if the camera can pick it up but that's how the yellow looks like. They smell a bit waxy. They are oil based and they do contain synthetic wax but as far as I know, the color looks great. And now for the bright blue. The bright blue is not as creamy as the other one, but I guess you've got to kind of warm it up with your finger a bit. That's how it looks like. I'm going to swatch it here. So the blue is really just bright blue. Just blue. <laughs> Next one, I'm going to try the Karen. It's creamy. This, um, this color very much reminds me of dried blood very scabby dried blood and it's so pretty yeah it's a red but this is great for like scratches or dried blood um yeah very pretty color and i think if you want like a purple bruise I think you could mix the red and the blue together to form that. Now for the brown. You know, they kind of all have the same consistency. It's just that I feel that the yellow one is much creamier than the rest. The brown... Just like a bark tree kind of brown. And uh, I'm gonna swatch the black, but I have... I've got five fingers, but I don't want to use my thumb. I'm gonna... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna use my thumb. I'm gonna use my thumb to swatch the black. It's the weirdest swatch ever, but it's okay. The black kind of reminds me of shoe polish. You know, the very greasy shoe polish? Yep. The very greasy black shoe polish. So I can totally understand why these colors were chosen for the special effects palette. Um, because honestly, these are what you need to make a wound and I will be doing a special effects video very soon so I will be using this palette to show you guys how to use it and it's really exciting. Let me try to mix the red and the blue together and see if I can form like some purple bruise. So this is what you get when you mix the red and the blue together. And that's a gorgeous, gorgeous purple for bruises. Obviously, you're not going to leave it like that, but, you know, this is just to show you guys how the colors come together when mixed. And maybe, maybe I would just add a little bit of yellow to see if I can make this any grosser than it already is. Yeah, so it's like purple with yellow pus coming out or something like that, I don't know. But definitely a palette that can be used for many, many things. So, great quality, great colors, and I can't wait to put it to good use. And that's about it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!